I got a hair on one ball and then a couple kick saves on another ones, but you know, whatever it takes to keep the ball in the net and it worked out. One of the things that was happening a lot tonight, Michael Barrios' speed. How did that change how you approach the game, how you have to uh, adjust, how you're setting up, how you're communicating with the guys? Yeah, in the first half, I, got, I, I feel like I got a little bit lucky. There was one, uh, I thought I was going to come out and claim the ball, but he got to it so fast and he whipped the ball across. Uh, and, you know, it ended up going out of bounds after a shot, I think. But after that, I decided, you know, I'm probably going to stay on my line a little bit more when he's running after it because he's so fast. But, you know, we knew that he was going to get behind and that he was going to get those chances to cross. But the guys in front of me did a great job getting the runners and clearing the balls that were coming in. Now, the score speaks for itself. You guys are going through. But how do you think the team handled that last 30, 40 minutes after you lost a man? Uh, I thought it was extremely professional. You know, we have a lot of really, really strong veterans. And, uh, you know, a lot of teams would fold when something like that happens in the playoffs on the road. But, you know, we lean on our veterans and we kind of knew what the game was going to turn into and we did a great job of doing exactly what we needed to.